doorsteps across America, the news hadn't been good. Layoffs, downsizing, budget cuts, and the like. I was a plant manager for a production facility, a production warehousing facility for Alcoa in the west of Washington. Joe Gillard worked in the heavy industrial industry for more than 20 years. In 2007, he was promoted to manager. He assembled a great crew, picked up some new business. Even in a rough economy, he thought things were going well. We were a very, uh, very large company, uh, top 30 in the world, you know, in size. And when a $30 billion company with so many different um, facets of operation uh, has trouble across the board, you know, there wasn't even anywhere to, to jump. I thought I would be there 20 years and, and retire. But in late 2008, he got a phone call that all managers, new or seasoned, never want to take. Well, what they said was, we're going to have to consider having, uh, ha having to shut down the plant. Three of our six uh, plants in the division were shut down in three months, and six to 8,000 people were laid off across the boards, and there was just uh, nowhere to go after that. He spent months looking for jobs that in the past, with his experience, would have been his for the taking. Again, this is the first time um, that I'd ever not been able to just go get a good job. But when the Recovery Act program was rolled out in 2009, it would soon help change a nation and change lives, like Joe's. Or would it? When I saw this opportunity, it was heavily advertised throughout the Northwest, and I seemed, you know, like a really good opportunity to get out and get in front of some people. And uh, I was one of those standing in line at the Shiloh when they had the job fair. He stood in line for seven hours, finally met with CH2M Hill representatives, and was slated for a job that day. But I didn't really believe that I could, I could have accomplished that. Joe was hired on with CH2M Hill as a frontline manager at the plutonium finishing plant. He's since put together a team. Half of them are Recovery Act hires as well. It made a big difference uh, with people in my crew and in, you know, in my life, in my family's life, and it, it touched a lot of people, it helped a lot of people. On the job for a year now, he's thankful the job came when it did. And he knows the Recovery Act is much bigger than him. These are good jobs in bad times, and it's helping the economy and the area in the Tri-Cities. You know, the people that are in these jobs are buying houses and cars, and they are they are helping the economy along uh, as they're doing a very important job.